Hey everybody, it's Patty from Chatty Patty's Place. And today I wanna to show you a tutorial on how to use the Bodabra Bow Maker. It's a very simple technique that will have you making the most beautiful bows for all of your Christmas presents, for your wreaths, for decorating in your home. And the only supplies that you'll need are a pair of scissors, some wire, and you can get that wire um, from Bodabra, bow wire. And some wired ribbon. Now I bought a jumbo roll so I can make lots of bows. But the main thing that you want is to make sure that the ribbon that you have um, has the same pattern on both sides. Or a similar pattern. And that the edges are wired. Now a lot of times when you buy the ribbon um, it'll say that it's wired so just you can look on the wrapping of the ribbon it'll say um, here it says wire let me bring it together because I took it off wire edge ribbon so that's what you want to look for when you're making your bow now the bow dabber comes with a little bit of um, wire um, as well as instructions, and it also comes with uh, a DVD that has different types of crafts that you can do with the Bodabra. But we're just going to play by ear, just to show you how simple it is to use. Um, I'm just going to go through a simple routine and walk you through the process. And this is the first time I'm using it, so if I can do this, you can do it too. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is the Bodabra comes with this tool. And the sole purpose of it is to push down on your bow once it's complete. So you want to remove that from the Bodabra. Next thing we want to do is some extra ribbon here. Some extra wire, I should say. You want to remove the wire and then get that measured. So let me get that open. So you want to take roughly 18 inches of this wire. Look for the end. Okay. So, you can pretty much eyeball uh, an 18 inches. I'm going to assume that this is probably around six, so I'll just triple that. And we're just going to cut. And then what you want to do is you want to fold this wire carefully in half like this. And leave a loop at one end and the two ends even on the other side. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get this out of the way. Is you're going to put this into your bow dabra right down the center. And we're going to tuck it underneath so that it doesn't move around when we're making our bow. Let me just place that down. There we go. Okay. Okay, so now our ribbon has to go in the opposite way. So I'm going to turn my Bodabra. And as you can see, it has this slat here. So I'm turning the Bodabra. Get our box and a pitcher. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our ribbon and we're going to slide it. And I'm putting the, the shiny side down, but with this one, it really doesn't matter. But I'm going to put, if you have like a one-sided ribbon, which you really shouldn't use one-sided ribbon for that, try to get a two-sided ribbon. But if you do, put the um, side that you want shown down. So I'm going to do that. So what I want to start with is just an inch. So I have my inch here. 
So then what you want to do is you're going to go back and forth six times. And depending on the size of the ribbon that you, you want will depend on how big you're going to make um, these folds. So I'm going to show you. So I'm going to do, let's, let's do a three, approximate three inch fold right here. So the main thing you want to do is to make sure that your ribbon is the same size on both sides. So I, I, I would say this is about three inches on this side. So you would need a total loop of six inches. Okay, let me move this over a little so you could see. So then if you have a one-sided ribbon, what you would want to do here is twist it and then flatten it out and then bring your loop back over. But the main thing you want to do is have it the same size on both sides. Now, as we move up and we want to make the ribbon um, more fancy, our folds are going to get smaller. So I'm going to twist it again because I want my shiny, shiny side to show. And I'm going to make my next come around just a little bit smaller. So see how I got a little smaller here? See the difference? Give it a quick twist and come up. Now you can do these folds before you put it into the bodabra. And personally, um, and then you would just put it right down into the bodabra and that would really um, help a lot. And in between, you could take your little tool here and just push down just to make sure you're keeping your bow nice and flat. Do my little twist. Make it a little smaller. Let me get that straightened out. So I'm gonna get a little smaller this time. So each time, as you see, I'm getting a little smaller. And don't get frustrated if your bow gets a little twisted. I mean, it's gonna happen. You're working with wire and you're working with a circular. trying to make a circle flat so nothing to be frustrated about just make sure that your sides are pretty much even and if they're not you can always just slide it up a little bit let's get that going all right well, let's do a few more like I said it's your ribbon and you're gonna make it the way you want to make it so just Keep going back and forth until you want the size ribbon that you want. And as you get smaller, it gets quicker. Okay. All right, and I'm gonna do one more pass through. And twist here, come around. And on your last pass through, you only wanna leave about an inch on the other side. So Get that, give it a little cut here. All right, push that down. I'm gonna get my trusty tool, push down. Like I said, this is my very first one. Okay. Then what we're gonna do is turn it and take our wire, slowly pull up. You don't want to come all the way up and you want to take your two ends and you want to slide them. See what I did there? Oh, probably not. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this end and slide it through the loop of this end and pull tight. This is where you can go wrong. This has to be super, super tight. So you don't want to break the ribbon, this wire, but you, you want to make it tight. So we're going to pull it out. Then I'm going to flip this upside down and I'm going to tie it because I want this tight, very tight. So I'm going to tie it on the bottom. Oh, okay. Now, if you want tails on your bow, you would put that into your ribbon maker first. So let's say if I want to add a tail to my bow. 
Now, I already made my ribbon. Usually I would put the, the uh, tail in there first. But let's see if I wanted to add a tail to this. I can just go ahead and add that in here. And if you forget to put it like I did, just take like, as, as long as you want your tail to be, let's see. All right, I'll do about a 12 inch tail. Let me just get that in there. And that's a good thing about the Bodabra. You can get in there and make adjustments, do whatever you want to do. I can slide this in here. I'm sorry about that. Slide my ribbon in there. Make sure it's even on both ends. Shiny side down. Or your pattern side down. I have to put my bow back in there. Or you can just take it, add it to your ribbon, and you'd be good to go that way too. So I'm not gonna put a, on our next one, we'll do that. All right, so I tied this up, and now the last step for the ribbon, all you want to do is fluff it. So let's get that fluffed. So we just take our wired ribbon, start with the center, and fluff it. You see how I made the center of the bow? Then you take your next piece, and if this, um, where you cut it, is too long, you just go in there and give it a trim. Get it out of your way. Yeah, you can't see it anymore. Gone. Fluff, 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 fluff. And these ribbons can be fluffed even throughout the holiday. And you can push position them anywhere you want. Fluff. And you can do opposite, that's what I usually do. Hold your center, fluff. And you wanna just catty corner everything. And then we'll do our next layer. Pull and fluff. And our bottom piece, pull and fluff. Like I said, you can make as big of a bow as you want. Now I got a transparent bow. But you can use uh, larger bows. Position them anywhere you want. And now if I had my tail on here, let me just fluff this. If I had my tail on here, the tail would be here. So the bow would be like this. And you would have your tail. And you would hang your bow anywhere you want. Let's give it a little lift. So now we can also do bows where we're using a lot of ribbon and a lot of layers okay and like i said you can add this little tail in here like i this bow's already made but if i wanted to i can take my ribbon and slide my wire right through the center and tie it on and then i'd have a tail so i can just take that tail hold, Pull it where I want it to be. And just tie it on. Done. And no one would know. No one would know that it wasn't there to begin with. And then if you want to do the little dovetails at the end, you know how to do those. You just fold the ribbon in half. And cut an angle on the folded side. So just cut down. And then you have your little fancy dovetails. Okay. Simple, simple, simple. Fold. Make sure both sides are even. And cut on your folded side. Make sure it's even. Cut on an angle. Done. That's it.